Hello, good afternoon. Thank you for being here. Um, our rep is a French company. Uh, we are specialized in uh, perimeter protection and um, manufacturing design and manufacturing of uh, uh, heavy fence for a critical site. And 60% um, of OREP activities uh, is in the nuclear uh, market, and 80% is in the energy market. What we are going to talk about is how can we protect a sensitive site, a nuclear site, with different uh, area of protection. The, uh, um, first line of protection is called, uh, in French, zone d'accès contrôlé. In English, outer boundary fence. Then we have uh, security buffer zone. And then we have other fence with uh, zone de protection renforcée, which is protected area. And inside this protected area, we have some warehouse and some uh, zone vital, which is uh, ex exclusion zone. So what we are going to, to do is to present how we can protect and what kind of solution are deployed on each fence of each zone. The first one, it's a zone d'accès contrôlé called ZAC. So you have ZAC in all uh, nuclear sites for uh, EDF site, for Framatome site, for um, uh, Orano site, and uh, ITER site also. So we have done some installation for all these customers. And we can protect this fence with, uh, uh, let's say, a chain link, chain link fence. And then we have some um, role of concertinas to delay the intruder. But first of all, what we do, we do install um, a detection cable. It could be one row of cable, two row of cable, and one row on the top side of uh, the fence, on the concertina, to, to get the alarm and to prevent uh, the control room to, um, to, to do the intervention. So this system is a microphonic cable, and this microphonic cable will detect by zoning in which zone the intrusion is, is done. Um, this, solution, this solution is deployed, for example, on all uh, nuclear sites in France, all EDF sites, all CNPE uh, uh, sites. Okay, next. What you can have also in a nuclear site, you can have, um, we call it smart fence. It's a fence with detection integrated inside the panel, and also you have detection on the burnt arm with climbing detection. So you have detection with climbing and also with cutting, and also if you put off the panel. This system is a very good system because it's, um, we call it passive systems. Passive means you don't have any alarm with wine, with uh, uh, vibration, with climat climatic condition. You have only alarm if someone tries to cut the fence, make a hole inside the fence, and also climb, the, climb over the fence. Another type of fence or system that you can apply uh, on, the, on the boundary fence is a sensor net. Sensor net, uh, is you use it at the same um, condition that uh, smart fence. It's a sensor with, uh, we, it, is, it is a net here, and the net you can apply on existing fence. So you can save money because you don't need to remove the fence to, to put a new one. You use your, your own fence that you have. You, maybe you need to, to maintain it in a good condition. And this net is installed on double skin to an existing fence. Or you can install it also in a waterfront. In waterfronts, 
uh, we use it on 316 stainless steel, but in normal condition, we use a 305, 304, sorry, uh, stainless steel. So the same condition as uh, uh, smart fence. On this system, you don't have a nuisance alarm because you, you don't have, the system doesn't re react with vibration, with wind, and uh, it does the react only if you cut and if you climb. So you can save uh, a lot of uh, time from, uh, from the guards because that they are not perturbed by, uh, by nuisance alarm. Next. The next area is the protected area. So this, in this area you have the, we call it zone vital in France, exclusive zone and warehouse. So this protected area, we have different type of fence and it's a, let's say, a critical uh, fence because um, we, we don't want that anyone goes in this area. So we have different type of fence. The first one is a very heavy fence. We have, we have it in, dem in demonstration in our bus. So it's a fence with vertical bars here. And in these bars, we, can, we put some concrete to avoid people to cut the fence. You can cut it, but it takes very long time. And then we put some, um, some weld mesh, which call it um, prison mesh or uh, high density mesh. And this mesh uh, um, not, um, is used also to, to delay the intruder. And also this, this fence is tested um, against explosive. It's anti-lag. We have done soft tests with uh, GIGN in France and the, the fence uh, resist to explosive. In the top of the fence, very difficult to climb over because we have some bars here. And when we have done some, some tests with the French army, it, will, it was very difficult for them to, to climb over. They did it, but they, they take more than 10 minutes to climb over the fence. Another, another type of um, protected area fence, it's a little bit lighter in terms of uh, delay, but this fence is mainly used in uh, a lot of nuclear sites in France for EDF and also for Framatome. Uh, it's a free layer of high density mesh, and because all, all mesh are uh, spaced by some maybe uh, 10 centimeter, 5 centimeter distance, the intruder need to cut each layer one after them, one after the other one, the other one. And if you want to go on the third layer, you need to make a big hole on the first one. Big hole, small hole, and small hole to go over. So it, 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 will, it will take some time to, to pass through. And then also the, the height of the fence is close to five meter, so it's also uh, very difficult to to climb over. It takes some time. This, this system is for uh, a, a quick installation uh, purpose. is installed on concrete blocks. That means uh, you the first step is to, to to install the blocks, and then you install we, we install the post and all the, the mesh of the fence. Uh, on this fence, and also the first one, we have um, a condition of uh, anti-RAM system, which is the next slide. So we can add, it's an option, if the, the site wants to protect some, some zone with uh, vehicles, uh, with trucks, and um, this, this systems, this system was tested with a cable from outside and inside to stop truck 
uh, 7.5 tons at 80 kilometers. So this system can be applied on all the fence or, or, or some particular point. If you have some, uh, because when you do your study of, uh, of, of uh, trouble, you, you can have maybe anti-ram only on, on 10 meters on some point. But on these systems, you need to have at least 40 meters of cable to make it uh, working in good condition. Because you need, you need to create um, a long distance of, um, of cable to be able to, to work correctly with the uh, anti, anti ram systems. Next. With the, um, these two fence, these two, two fences, fences, we can uh, create some uh, vehicle access, as we can see here, and also some pedestrian access. On the vehicle access, we use, can you come back? On the vehicle access, we use some, uh, it could be a sliding gate or it could be a swinging gate. This is motorized uh, sliding gate. And the gate it has the same characteristics as the FET in terms of de delay time. It has been tested also with the, with the, um, with the French Gendarmerie of um, EDF site and um, approved. When we, we use it, um, it, it, it's used on, the, um, it's cre we create a SAS. That means um, the, the automat is programmed to open only one gate, and this one is closed. Mm -hmm. If this one is open, this one is closed. And this one can, op can be open only if this one is closed. Then we have the pedestrian access. On the pedestrian access, it is the same, the same purpose. First, we have a high security turnstile, so there is a lot of uh, manufacturers on the market which are doing this type of turnstile. And then we create a motorized gate with the same characteristics as the fence. So if the guy, if the people, the, the people is coming on the on the turnstile, then. He has, he has to, he has a badge and the access control to open this gate. And this gate, this gate is, is motorized. Also on the um, high security zone, we can also use a smart fence. So, this is the same smart face that, can, that it can be used for um, ZAC uh, outer boundary fence. Then we have the um, zone vital in French, which is exclusion zone. So this is the last, the last layer of protection in a nuclear site. And in this um, zone, if you have an alarm, that you p for sure uh, you have an intervention for, from the guard. Next. Uh, we can use the same system that, that it can be used in the, in the ZAC zone, which is a, a, a fence with detection cable, but mainly that the fence in the zone vital is used by metals, heavy metal fence. So that heavy metal fence it's called in French uh, metal deployé. It's, um, it's a part of metal which is, um, um, I don't know the name in English, but étiré. And then it's create a fence on metal. And on this fence, which is very rigid, we use a cable detection with vibration systems. Um, and then you can get either the delay and also the alarm by cutting and also climbing. In the top of the fence, we use a special cable, which is inside a metal, I uh, don't know if you have it, a metal gen, metal tube, to protect the cable against the blades of the concertinas. Also, on the, um, this type of zone, we can use also smart fence. 
We have different type of smart fence, depending on the panel. This panel is called a classic one because it's a normal mesh, 200 uh, millimeter by 50 millimeter, and we use horizontal tubes to get the alarm. So if you cut the you cut the panel here, you remove the panel, you get the alarm, and on the top you have bent arm. These ones are inclined, and uh, it's a resettable bent arm. That means you don't need to repair it if you have an alarm. You can put it in the normal position to reset the alarm without any repairation, any repair. The last um, zone is called uh, magasin, warehouse, and it's mainly the same um, system we use in the magasin that we use in the zone vital. And it could be either uh, smart fence. In, um, in our catalog, it's peri fence. And what we have also, we can use um, a system called peri gate, which is a um, special gate with detection, detection integrated inside the gate. So the, you have the detection inside the panel. So you can see here the uh, peri fence panel. And in the top, you have the bent arm to prevent um, climbing and to detect climbing. On the Zone Vital and also Warehouse, we can use uh, two types of concertina. This concertina is called Pericoil. It's a concertina with cutting detection. We use, um, if you remember before, the Peristop uh, net. What we do, we do manufacture a, a Peristop wire, which is a wire with, with um, uh, copper insulated inside. And we use this Peristop wire to equip the blade of the concertina. And then you have a concertina with cutting detection. And of course, you can couple it, associate it with bent arm with, with cutting detection. And then we have another type of concertina, which is an um, electrified concertina. It is a spiral inside the concertina, which is electrified. So this spiral of concertina can be equipped, can equip the top of the fence but also top of the building. Uh, we use it, exam for example, in uh, EDF sites to equip in uh, the building of security building at the entrance of uh, the EDF site. And uh, we can combine also the pericol system with the active call system to have as well a cutting detection concertina and an electrified concertina in the same um, in the same product. Uh, another spe uh, now we are going to talk. We have a few slides now, and we are going to talk on specific point on a nuclear site. It could be uh, either um, water effluent, underground water effluent, or it could be. Um, it could be um, air, uh, air duct. In water effluent, we can have um, the, the intruder can go in this, in this underground tube and then go inside the, the nuclear power point by tunnels and uh, canalization. So um, the, um, the, the security manager of the nuclear site asked us to provide some systems as well with detection and as well with delay time on uh, the entrance and the pipe. So we, we install some stainless steel uh, grid with some minutes of delay and then to detection. So here we have some tubes and the tubes are equipped with, uh, let's say, detection cable and if someone begins to cut the, the grid, you will get the alarm immediately and without any, without any false alarm. It's a 100% alarm. And then the grid is designed to delay the intruder. That means all the security guards will have time to, to come in the, in the zone and to check 
what's happened. We have different type of uh, of um, of grid. This one is uh, mainly uh, high security grid because uh, it's a uh, 10 centimeter flat um, flat metal um, grid. But we have we can have also a grid with only detection. So it's only tubes, uh, horizontal or vertical tubes, and the grid. The function of the grid will be only to detect and not to delay. It will delay a little bit, maybe one or two minutes, but not more, more than one and two minutes. This one is a special application we have done to protect uh, a river. So it's a, uh, it's a river of 30 meter wide and seven meter uh, deep. And we put this type of grid, so it's a stainless steel grid. And then here, you have some tubes, horizontal and vert vertical tubes, to get the alarm. And the grid was um, was in the grids were installed uh, in all the in all the in all the river. That means uh, 30 meter wide. So we have uh, something like uh, 14 uh, 14 grid with different uh, height. The center grid was seven, seven meters, then 6.5, then 5, 4, through. So it was like a, you know, a river. Next. And the last uh, slide, it's a special application for turnstile application. So to add, to add delay on cutting on the bar on, of the turnstile, we put some special... Um, let's say plastic, but it's not really plastic, there is something inside to, to add some delay. And if someone try to cut the, the bars, it will take more time than, than a normal bar to, to, cut, to cut it. So we, we equip some, uh, some turnstile in uh, some nuclear site. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, we are here for that. And, uh, we have uh, some brochure and documentation here, and our boss in, uh, is in H. Uh, yes, one hundred and thirty-three, thirty-six. Sorry. Thank you very much. <laughs>